Welcome. We're in Portland, Oregon, USA, where two major rivers, the Columbia and the Lemmet, meet on their way to the Pacific Ocean. We're in a residential neighborhood. Our house is in the Red Box. Here's our house in 2009 before we started the Interfit and after. You can see it's not much different from the outside. So this is our super energy efficient door. It's a tilt and turn door and it's super airtight because it has this rubber gasket right here. It has three layers of glass and an insulated frame. And one of the coolest things about this door is you can let some cool air in in the summer, but still have it locked like so. We replaced our windows with Alpen windows, which are super energy efficient and quadruple paint. Then we added 10 inches of cellulose insulation, as you can see right here. Our windows are now inset. Over here you can see we left a little bit of the house open, so you can pull this out and see how we have our fluffy and light cellulose insulation. All of this insulation in the house is made out of recycled paper. To add 10 inches of insulation to the outside of the house, what we did is we took off the siding and we built Larson trusses, that's what these are called, 90 of them. This was a sample that we built after we installed the other 90. We made them out of plywood, gussets, and laminated veneer lumber, also known as LVL, for the cords and the plywood for the webs. And then they have fabric. So our studs inside the house are 16 inches on center, and these are screwed through the plywood sheathing into the studs, so they're very strong, and they created a 10 inch deep cell that was filled full of cellulose after we put fiberboard on the outside. And you can see they run all the way from the bottom plate of the first floor to the top plate of the second floor and actually attach to the rafters. One leak that we knew were aware of was the pull down stairs to our attic storage area. So we bought these pull down stairs from Sweden and they have a nice continuous gasket all the way around and it locks closed and pressed against the gasket. So when you open it and bring it down and then the stairs come out. But when it's closed it's airtight. And we'll take that to the attic now. They're not completely airtight though, so we built a second door uh, that also has more insulation in it. See, we've got two layers of thick insulation, and we've got a seal. So we get additional airtightness and insulation. The rest of the attic is insulated with cellulose, blown in about two feet thick. Before the passive house remodel, we had a furnace in the garage. Get the furnace out of the house. Now that we have continuous positive mechanical ventilation, we have Harvey taking up half the pantry. We call it Harvey for heat recovery ventilator because our youngest was seven at the time. The ducks up there are taking out the stale air and bringing in the fresh air before it runs through the high efficiency core. Here's where the heat recovery ventilator takes the air out of the house. This is our exhaust pulled from three bathrooms and a kitchen. As part of our passive house, we're always pulling stale or moist air out. Here is our exhaust vent over one of our showers. We have two more in each bathroom and one in the kitchen. Yesterday it started to rain before I could show you that the same amount of air is brought right back into the house, fresh air. We always have fresh outdoor air coming in through vents like this, one in every bedroom, two in the family room and living room. This Swedish ASCO closed drying cabinet 
which is essentially line drying without the need for a large vent because it's simply mm, 100 watts of um, blown air to dry clothes on a line. And this is about one big dark moon. And then the exhaust heat, this is the last stop before our heat recovery ventilator in the pantry, Harvey in the pantry. Portland, Oregon has very hot west sides of houses. And our study was one of the hottest places, even with the passive house remodel. But we've shaded it with a uh, grape arbor. Our favorite part of our house is our open kitchen, dining area, and living room. Always warm in winter, even on Portland's reliably rainy days.